I'm speaking for everyone. Now, speaking of the DxO stuff that I mentioned before, believe it or not, the iPhone 12 regular model suffered even more from this because it it only got that two camera situation. Uh -huh. And believe it or not, here here's you and I. We're living in 2020. Are we not? We are. And everybody's throwing cameras. They're slapping cameras everywhere. Mm -hmm. You can't find a, a phone with two cameras in it anymore. And, but, of course, the regular iPhone 12 has it. Now, I know the argument. People say, man, I don't need all these cameras and stuff. But when you're doing these charts, if you're a company like DxO, Mark, you got to be, you know, you're, you're, you're trying to distinguish the top tier from the mid tier from the low tier. And mm -hmm. you got to go based on something. And the versatility of camera modules has to be one of those things. Mm -hmm. I got the little puppy whining over here. Let me, we're going to do a little, we're going to do a little bonus round. I'll a open little the, reveal? Yeah, I don't know. Maybe she's going to walk around. Here, let's see real quick. Everybody, this is Pepper. Meet Pepper. She wanted to be on the show. You probably heard her down there. Now she's like, oh, geez, I'm on the show. What exactly am I going to do? If you're just listening to this, there's a puppy on the desk right now. And Will Aww. looks very concerned. And actually, That's she good. looks kind of concerned, too. She's like, you can't throw me right in the bright lights. I, I mean, know. I know That's I was making pressure. noise. I know I was making noise over there. But you can't throw me straight in the bright lights. Anyway, that's Pepper. Uh, she's a wonderful little pup for the time being. Yeah. Although Otis is uh, attempting to influence her into who knows what type of activities. Yeah, he's trouble. He might be a troublemaker. Yeah. We'll, we'll find out what happens. Anyway, so you got this uh, iPhone 12, and it shows up on a DxO, and they say, you know what? It can't keep up with the Pro model uh, score-wise. Mm -hmm. It's lacking that extra, that extra lens. They also docked at points for noise. Uh, they're see seeing noise in the image maybe more so than those other models for whatever reason. And it still did reasonably well in the video department, which is one of those areas where uh, the iPhones have have usually done fairly well. Uh, it's getting points for the autofocus. I can speak to this from personal experience. The Pro models also benefited from their superior autofocus in video and also in uh, during stills. But if you want to look at the actual scores, I mean, it makes it into the top 10, in the top 10 for photos. But it's not anywhere near the rest of the flagship devices that are out there. Now, Apple does give you those options. So maybe people won't be surprised by this, that the Pro model is sort of more at the top of that chart. Mm -hmm. But if, uh, you know, I mean, if you're wondering, like, it's not a cheap phone still in iPhone 12. No. We're talking about, what, 800 bucks? That around there, so. around there, around there. Depends which one you get, but yeah, the mini seven hundred. But anyway, yeah, it's it's all it's still a very expensive phone, and there's going to be phones you can find for less in that list. If uh, well, there you go, smartphone camera, Mate forty Pro at the top, Mi ten Ultra, P forty Pro, iPhone twelve Pro Max. I guess the cheapest phone of that bunch is probably the Mi ten Pro, coming in at what is that number six? Yeah. Anyway, they're, yeah, they're premium phones with premium price tags. But if you were wondering or you want to check out those scores for yourself, just be aware that the uh, Pro model is going to score substantially better than the regular model. Substantially, in quotes. You know, you know the DxO stuff is somewhat subjective anyhow. Mm -hmm. uh, and, and for the record, it actually scores a little lower than the 11 Pro Max. So maybe you want to pick up an older phone. <laughs> maybe. Maybe you want to pick up a better version of the previous gen. I mean, I wouldn't do that. But I'm just saying, if you're all about the DxO, it's worth noting. 